Thank you for joining us for a quick overview of the Service Catalog, a component of Shareable Service Management, an ITIL Pink Verified integrated service management solution with all the out of the box functionality you'll need to meet the growing demands of your service desk. Shareable Service Management gives you enterprise power at a mid market price. More and more IT departments desire to create a service catalog to become the focal point for interaction between the IT department and the various business units. The catalog is a first step, maybe even a requirement in a shift to a more service-based, demand-driven approach to IT. But make no mistake, uh, there is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all when it comes to the service catalog. The requirements and content are likely to be quite different depending on who your audience is, who your users are, and how you're going to use the service catalog. With shareable service management's configuration capabilities that are unsurpassed, you are the one who decides what services you will use, how they will be set up, what data you will collect, and how they will align themselves with the various businesses. Once those services have been established and set up within the application, it's now time to convert them into the service catalog. Your end users, once they've logged into the self-service portal on any browser like IE, Firefox, Safari for both PC and Mac, will be able to very quickly access the service catalog and from there choose from whichever service they currently want to get some sort of help with. An example might be onboarding a new employee. I go into my service catalog and I see the information that I need about that employee support and I decide to onboard a new employee. Immediately I'm giving all the information that I need to fill out right here online and I can go in there and fill all that information out for my IT department including things like picking my status, picking the start date when the individual will begin. Once all of that has been filled out I now can begin to choose the various components and the various items that are needed for my new employee. For example I might pick a Dell Latitude laptop for them with all the information that you have pulled perhaps even from your procurement department. Notice that as I add various accessories like for example a laptop bag and a power adapter it automatically begins to add all that information up for me to know what the total cost is. Picking the iPhone again I can choose something for them to be able to add and continue adding up all of the total for the various items that are needed. Once I've done that I can come down to my additional information where I can request having their work environment set up. Perhaps I'm using something like a screen reader or some sort of assistance that is needed like that. I can have check boxes, again, the ones that you would choose. Perhaps it's network access that is needed for my salesperson to be able to have access from a security standpoint. Once I've created all that, I simply save this request for onboarding a new employee and your end user is done they are able now to log out and go about their daily business. Back at the service desk what is happening is that now I'm going to receive that incident on the service desk and if we open up that incident we will see all this information has been brought over from the self-service portal. I was able to bring in the information for example from LDAP, Active Directory or eDirectory about the individual. Notice all of the categorization, the classification that is needed for the incident has automatically been brought in. Where was that information that they filled out in the catalog? All that information is right here for me to be able to look at for reference purposes. But you know as well as I do that from a, an efficiency standpoint, trying to pass this incident around and have each individual see what their little task is on here is going to be very ineffective and very inefficient. With Cheryl's powerful business processes and one-step action, I can automatically take the data that has been gathered from that self-service portal and convert those into tasks for each one of my individual departments and individuals in those departments to do. For example, I may send an email over to my procurement team asking them to purchase that Dell Latitude that I chose. Here is the sum total for what I believe the cost should be, what accessories that are needed. They can simply go in there, update the task, and I now have that information right there attached to that service request. Or perhaps my network team is going to be notified on their dashboard that they have a new task for Robert Thompson, and that is to give Robert access to the sales and administration security groups that he should be a part of. 
All that information is contained right within the service request. No more hunting around, no more cutting and pasting, no more passing emails back and forth and hoping that somehow someone might remember to take care of things and having your new employee show up and only have half the tasks done. With Sharewell Service Management, we give you the capability to be able to have a service catalog that actually produces a value to you in your organization. The bottom line, with shareable service management and ex extraordinary configuration capabilities, you can easily implement your company's service catalog. We have a unique, powerful, yet easy to use product. Let us prove it. Please sign up for one of our weekly webinars or schedule a personal demo. Thank you for spending time with us and have a great day.